Alright, this is part two of my Greenock Explore regarding some of these buildings that seems to have been built and then with a very low window in the bottom of them where it's a, a basement or it was actually another level there and I've got a few to show you of this trip that I spotted today on Google Maps a few examples here of low windows all round kind of get access to the back of that one, maybe get around the other side so you can see there the front door up here it's not original brick it's just plastered and it's the same width the same width as the windies on the same level as it big grand entrance way there and a couple of wee strange Strange wee windy there. So we'll keep walking along. There's a few in this street. There's a cracker I want to show you up up on the next street that I've looked at a beauty up there. So don't worry, this is a business, don't worry to put the, the business name on it if I can. You see up the side here, same again. There's not even a, a sill on the bottom of it, it's just cut off. Which shows me that it carries on down there. The front one's had a, a couple of blocks put on it. Fannied up. Same theme again. Big aperture there. Quite bigger than the windies right enough, but whether it's genuine or not, I don't know. Carrying on. I'll be trying to get a wee look up the side. So you see a wee sill on the bottom of that windy. Whether it looks genuine or not, I don't know. It doesn't look like sandstone. But the level seems to be consistent with the front to the back here. So, and there's your old turret at the back there, the stairwell. So, I'm not sure about that one. Don't know what to think, but I'd like to. I'd like to peer in the window there with the camera, but... So we'll carry on up the street. Get a wee... There's one there, the windy. Right under the deck. Red bricks under it, look. Red brick. No sandstone lintel or anything like that, just red bricks, so that means it's an additional part. Right, I'll pause it now and I'll get you in a minute when I'm over the other side. Just so there's a big building just across the street here. The date on it, 1886. Which is interesting because it looks all on the level. There's a... Whatever that means. Now that's interesting because it looks okay. 1886 seems seems all right at first glance. 
So, the houses and buildings I'm going to take you to, I've researched online and they were built between early 1800s and mid 1800s so this is probably 30 years younger than that now when these did something happen between 1850 and 1886 possibly you see a wee example here of the building next door to it is your classic moat lower than the road by about six feet at least six feet I would reckon being an ex-grave digger so there you go, I don't know about that something to ponder Up here is the Tontine Hotel, big fancy hotel in Greenock, which was built in 1890. So I've got my suspicions that this is a bit deeper. So we've got 1886, there's a window down there, and that's lower than the road which I'm standing on here by about six feet. So that window down there is lower than the street and that's 1890 so there you go this was 1890 this was built in 1890 and it's got a huge big moat under it there you go two stairways going down so let's get a look underneath here under the grand entrance to see any evidence of a door down there. You can see directly below it that it's consistent with the other windows, but mm. I'm not sure. It's not apparent. It's not apparent. The bricks don't really match up to be honest with you but it's not that apparent but as you see it's even deeper there it's about eight to ten feet below the ground level here there's our street that dark rim stone there is the street level so I don't know why or see why they would build buildings in a hole, you know, and, and try and build something to hold it all back. You would think that it would they would build it on a flat, a flat and level surface, wouldn't you? As you see there, look, there is the line disappearing right under the street, way down there. So. That's another one. There's a just across the street here, look at that. One of them windies there. Halfway under halfway under the pavement. Right, let's cross over. Because up here, up here's a few beauties. A few crackers. 18 these ones on the left I'm going to show you are early, sorry, mid 1800s and the one on the right which I'm going to show you in two minutes was early 1800s you can see one just across the street there that there's an arch, we'll maybe walk back that way it's quite weird shoving a camera in people's hussies right enough I don't particularly one chased with a big ass rock by there or anything like that. But I'll walk back that way anyway and I'll film as I'm walking to make it less discreet. Right, I'll get these in a minute. Right, here's one there. That's down the side of this building here. Right. With a window down there. And then down 
front door, but there's the main entrance to the building. So it's another one that's well done. Behind me, you. Don't get in the camera. Oh my boy, baby. So these, this whole row here is all bridged over entranceways. All bridged over from the road and get your your moat away down there. Probably about the eight to ten feet again from pavement level. And property is compared to the street and this one as well. Look at that. So across the street here there's another couple for sale. Might be might be worth inquiring into the title deeds and when if there's ever a picture of them. When they were just built. Now look at that there. Look. That's that's your it's welding. Well, well, well done. And there is a pavement here. Well, well, well done. Check it out. Your typical window that's been blocked off and I think that is the original level. Okay, get you in a minute. Right, this is the one I wanted to show you here. Still your same same house through a moat, but the wall, the front wall with the gate, the gate there, the fence, is right into the pavement. And as you walk down the hill, walk down the hill a wee bit, it comes out of the pavement, comes higher and higher and higher and higher up because it's level. There's your typical moat again, quick one, I don't want to look at people's houses, but there you go. And there's your, just wanted to show you that one before I take you down and show you the other ones. Let's see where we are, we got a, we got a strange look off a woman as she came right out of her house and she's staring at us, so no doubt she's phoning the, the mix. But there's another house and a moat there. You know, you can even see the most dug around it. So there we go. Right, we're going to head back down this way again. A couple of minutes more and that'll be us. Right, we're still in the west end of Greenock and there's a two story building there as you see in front of us. Or is it? There's one. There's two. And away down there is the third level, right down the back. Look how deep that is around the back there. The stairs going down there. Let's see if you can see the windy. There's the top of the windy. And there's the green. Two stories high at the front. Three stories deep at the back. There you go, that's, that's good evidence for me, that one. So, so it seems to be all 1890, 1889 and 1890 and 98 stuff, there's no less than 1900s here. So whatever has happened, has happened early 1900s in my opinion. So I've still to look into it and find out. How's the church looking? It looks quite level, so that looks as if it's been later. Unless it's been fannied up like the rest of them. So I'll just walk these two buildings here, I want to show you, and that'll be the film over. Let's make these two floods pass.
So as you can clearly see there, that should go down a bit lower. Down a bit lower. Now there's something very interesting here. The, I'll just stand at the side of this because it's in somebody's window and the light's on. Now look at this. There's somebody's windy there. And the windy's still in it. You know what I mean? So that just doesn't happen. No builder. And look how deep it is down the back. Look. So whatever's happened to the front of these buildings here has happened after it was built. Definitely. Check that one out. That's a bit of good evidence for the for the end of this film. There's the other side of it as well. So it's huge big deep back and it's a way up at street level to the front. Even the street's a bit higher again, the road. So there you go. I'll end my video. That's part two of the Greenock uh, mud flood speculation. So it is. What have we got here? This is a bridge. So this is an old, this is a tenement now, so probably that. So that's us. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again. Maybe come down again. There's plenty, plenty more.